nightmare ride that ends with a taxi driver being shot. Good evening, everybody. I'm Mike Darda. Sheree is off tonight. The cabbie was taking a couple of men from northern Kentucky to Cincinnati when things took a sudden turn for the worse. Only on WLWT, Jackie Congedo speaks with the man who was viciously attacked. Jackie. Mike, not even three days after he was shot in the chest, this cab driver is home and he is sharing his story for security reasons. He didn't want us to show his face tonight. The doctor is said that you have a good luck. And you can see why, as Abdinasir Warsame shows the path one bullet took in and out of his chest before lodging in his arm. After five years as a cab driver, a fair early Saturday morning almost cost him his life. These people that come to me, they're asking me for the ride. Investigators say 18 year old Latif Dean was one of them. The two got in at Newport on the levee, and when they got to their destination and over the Rhine, one man got out telling Warsame he'd be back with money. Oh, he never came back, that guy. He left. Instead, he says, Dean hit him in the head with the butt of a gun, then shot him in the chest before demanding cash. Thinking quickly, Warsame hit the gas. Driving crazy, you know. Hoping to subdue his attacker. Me and him, we kind of die, you know, at the same time. He asked me to stop the car, stop the car. I cannot stop the car. Do whatever you want. <laughs> I do whatever I want. That's when Dean jumped out, and when Warsame stopped, he called 911. After a day and a half in the hospital. Yeah, I'm feeling better right now. I'm feeling good. He's decided it's time to find a new job. No more taxi driver. You never know the who took you, he's a good guy or not, or bad, bad one. You never know. Anything can happen. Police say they found Dean lying in the street. They say he had a gun and cocaine on him. He is here at the jail tonight, and he's charged with aggravated robbery and possession of drugs. Reporting live downtown tonight, Jackie Congedo, WLWT News 5. Hey, Jackie, thanks a lot. Warsami worked for Luxury Taxi. He said he's been driving for them for about a year or so before Saturday morning's attack.